टूडेज टॉपिक इज स्टीफेंस लॉ फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन स्टेट स्टीफेंस लॉ फॉर ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन आंसर डायमेसिव पावर ऑफ अ ब्लैक बॉडी इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू द फोर्थ पावर ऑफ एब्सल्यूट टेम्परेचर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन स्पेक्ट्रम इज वॉट फर्स्ट यू नो वॉट इज स्पेक्ट्रम द पैटर्न ऑफ कलर बैंड ऑप्टेन ऑन स्क्रीन दैट्स नोन एज ए स्पेक्ट्रम एंड दिस स्पेक्ट्रम इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ विव क्योर हैंस द ऑल ब्लैक बॉडी हैव शोन दियर स्पेक्ट्रम वेन दियर टेम्परेचर इज राइज एंड अप टू द सिक्स थाउजेंड कैलवेन This is the graph that are showing that uh, how a black body is emitting energy and which is directly proportional to the rise in temperature. So here is a question again: Does a black body radiate at room temperature? So the answer is yes, sure. For example, if the room temperature is twenty-seven degrees Celsius, to convert it in a Kelvin. we have to add 273 in that and the final result is 300 kelvin it can be seen through graph that at 300 kelvin there is a curve that is showing that there is a radiation through by a black body but it is of infrared region that's why we cannot be observed that by our naked eyes so my next question is there just related to that that why we not observe that we are not observe that just because we are a human being and we can only observe the radiation of visible region but at room temperature there is a radiation of infrared region that's why we are able not able to to see or watch it through our naked eyes my fifth question is what is the unit of stefan's constant sigma If come if if it is comes to value, it is five point six seven into ten to the power minus eight, and if unit then watt per meter square per kelvin to power four. That can be written as in this form also. My next question is give the example of black body. I have two example. First one is graphite, and second one is a lamp black. both of them have uh, emissivities or a uh, absorptive power greater than 0.95 but not exactly one that's why they both of them are not a ideal black body next question why black body radiate as we know that every body have a tendency to stay at equilibrium so black body must have to radiate at same rate as it absorbs the energy we know that black body is perfect absorber but it also a perfect emitter that's why the absorptive power of a black body is unity next question when did the black body radiate so the answer is on heating the black body Yeah, or increasing the temperature, that can be proved from the Stefan's law. Also, E is directly proportional to the absolute temperature to power four. So, if we increase the temperature, the energy radiate also increases. That's why the black body radiate. If you like anything good in my videos, please like and subscribe. I am need your support. as you can